Hello, BookTube. Hello, friends. Welcome to Lizzie Fay Loves Books. I'm Elizabeth. And I'm here today because I'm sure most of you have already heard about the passing of one of our dear BookTube friends, Janelle, from the channel Too Fond of Books. And I just wanted to come on here and add my own tribute and celebrate her life in just a tiny way and just briefly talk about some of the ways that you can um, express your memories of her and celebrate her life here on BookTube. So it was not until Saturday that I heard about her husband Aaron's video that he had posted on Friday. I got a message early Saturday morning from my friend Donna. Her channel is Studio in the Library. She does not do videos, but she was a very good friend of Janelle's and also a good friend of mine on BookTube. And she left me a message that uh, she had just heard, and, and certainly I had too, but I had not. So I went immediately and watched Aaron's video and um, then watched Berna's video. I watched the Killing Time with Cozy's sprints from Friday night where they all kind of found out at the same time and had my cry and then went on our March Mystery Madness Discord and um, left a few comments there. And I created a, a new channel there in our March Mystery Madness Discord where you can celebrate her life. You can leave links to your favorite videos from Janelle, favorite memories, uh, whatever you would like to do. There's a whole channel there for the celebration of Janelle and her for her contribution to not only BookTube, but specifically to March Mystery Madness. She actually did her first video on February 15th of 2020, and it was her March Mystery Madness TBR. What an honor that was for me as the creator of March Mystery Madness to have someone make their first video um, for, uh, for that readathon. And um, I knew immediately that we must have her as a host. <laughs> and then she was a host for the next three years. Um, and, and a better host than me, uh, no doubt about it. She knows so much about the mystery genre and just books in general. And it is just hard to realize that she has left us. So I'm um, I was very glad to know that her husband is keeping her channel open and you can go back and watch videos that you've missed. Uh, if you are new to her channel, you can go there and watch videos um, because she would do a video every day during March Mystery Madness. There are several that I haven't seen and I'm so thankful that he's going to leave those up so that I can go back and um, and see all of those fantastic videos that, uh, that I missed and, and probably will watch some again. But uh, I was excited today when I saw that uh, Rainy from Rainy Day Reads and Melissa from Libraries and Labradors have created a Janelle-a-thon that will be running from June 26th through July 3rd. June 26th is tomorrow, uh, as I'm filming this. Today's June 25th. But um, incidentally, or coincidentally, Donna from Studio in the Library had messaged me early this morning and I didn't really get a chance to do anything about this until now because uh, now I'm doing the slides and everything at church and I had to be there early. It was our VBS celebration day and all of that. Uh, so after church, I saw the Janelathon and um, I thought, wow, uh, great minds think alike because Donna also had an idea for a Janelle readathon and she has asked me in the past if I would help to promote and co-host readathons and challenges that she comes up with since she doesn't do videos. And so I thought, wow, since there's already a Janelle-a-thon and their only real prompt is to read something that reminds you of Janelle, I thought I would share with you Donna's prompts because I think these are fantastic. And if you would like a little bit more of a structured idea for what you might pick up and read during the Janelle-a-thon, then here you go. So let me just share the prompts. So the first one is to read a book by Agatha Christie. Uh, no doubt about it. Agatha Christie was um, her favorite, at least one of her favorite authors, if not her most favorite author. But Donna says that her favorite Agatha Christie was The Murder of Roger Ackroyd. 
Uh, another prompt is to read a golden age mystery. Uh, I always look to Janelle for her expertise in that subgenre of mysteries, for sure. Uh, another one is to read a book by Jane Austen. Well, July is going to be Jane Austen July, so uh, that fits perfectly. And Donna says that her favorite was Persuasion. And then the next one is to read a retelling of one of Jane Austen's stories or a book about Jane Austen. And then the next one is to read a historical mystery. And her favorite historical mystery series is the Sebastian St. Cyr series by C.S. Harris. And then she had another prompt to read another historical mystery because that would be Janelle. Read a, his, read a historical mystery and then read another one. Uh, then read a book set in Canada where she was born and lived um, in Alberta and Saskatchewan. And then read a book set in Edinburgh, Scotland. Her last trip with her husband on their 25th wedding anniversary was to Scotland. And then you can also go to Janelle's Goodread page and select a book that she read or wanted to read and then read that. So I will post these in the description below. I will also forward this list to the hosts of the Janellathon and if they want to share them there that's fine. They may not want to include anything this structured in their part of Janellathon but of course you know the wonderful thing about booktube is we can do whatever we want and we can read whatever we want and whatever prompts that we want so uh i just wanted to share those with you since donna doesn't do videos and i thought there were some really great ideas for honoring janelle and um and just remembering her in this time of loss um also in addition to the thread that i put on our march mystery madness discord i also added a thread on our March Mystery Madness Goodreads group. And um, Jen, who handles our Instagram account, did post on Instagram. So you can leave comments there uh, or on Goodreads or on Discord if you would like to share any memories um, on any of those platforms about Janelle. So um, thank you so much for watching. Um, you know, it is just going to be so hard to... Uh, have March Mystery Madness without her. Uh, so many memories of her wonderful M&M games and uh, just the amazing creativity that she put into her videos, uh, not just for March Mystery Madness, but for, um, for all of her videos. And we are going to miss her terribly. So thank you so much for watching. If you are uh, have never seen Janelle's channel, then I will link it below as well. And that's all I have for this video. I hope you're having a great day. Read a good book and God bless you.